Introducing the Zealot S85. I've been looking forward to this speaker. I have tested many Zealot speakers in the past and I always love them. Just look at this thing. It's got the Zealot logo blazing boldly on the front. Look at these beautiful, big, gorgeous, <laughs> clearly labeled buttons. Yeah, they're single press and double press, but that's just the way it is. They're so beautiful though, I can almost forgive them for that. On the bottom of the S85, we have these non-skid sound isolating feet to help protect the surface of whatever you have this thing sitting on from the pounding bass. But if you want to lay the speaker down, it also has tiny black rubber feet on the back. Behind this rubber plug, we have a TF card slot, a U-Drive slot, a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, and a USB-C charging port. Whenever I see a giant rubber plug on the back of a speaker, I think, hey, is this speaker waterproof? Yes and no. This is IPX6 waterproof, which means it can be splashed. You can spray a hose at it, but don't just let this sit in water. Or you'll be asking for trouble. If you're looking at these and you ask yourself, what are those things? The Zealot S85 comes with a shoulder strap. They call it a lanyard, but uh, it's looks it's a strap they give you a nice branded accessory bag plus a three and a half millimeter patch cord and a charging cord this is a 50 watt speaker and believe me you can hear every watt there is a large subwoofer over here and a smaller tweeter over here plus some passive radiators on either side if you're saying to yourself 50 watts is good but 100 watts would be better Zealot couldn't agree more. The S85 supports TWS mode, true wireless stereo, where you can wirelessly connect two of these things into a left and right channel full stereo experience and double the power to 100 watts. Is it loud? Oh yes, this is unbelievably loud for a speaker of this size. And it has tons of bass. The S85 has three equalizer modes, bass boost, vocal boost, and normal. If you listen to a lot of bass heavy music, do not use bass boost. Bass boost is for normal music to compensate for the lack of bass. Use normal mode for bass heavy music. It might seem kind of counterintuitive, but believe me, that's what you want to do. If you use bass boost with bass heavy music, you will drive the speaker into distortion and nobody wants to listen to that. Normally at this point in a Zealot speaker review, I would be telling you how much I love this speaker, how it pounds, how it sounds so good, but not in this case. I have to, I have to tell you the bad news. First of all, have you noticed that there are no RGB lights going? There should be. This thing has RGB lighting modes, but I can't get it to work. This button does nothing. It's supposed to turn the lights on and off or do some kind of a selection mode or something. It just doesn't do anything, except I've noticed that if I hold any button down long enough, it drops connection on my Bluetooth. That's not good. And well, and that's just the beginning of the problem. I can't reliably get out of the, the equalizer mode that I select. I don't know what the problem is. I thought maybe it's just a problem with the Bluetooth connection, but no, I tried this with the TF card and the USB U drive slot, and both of those switch sources if I hold down any button long enough. I, I am willing to believe that this particular speaker, not all S85s, but this particular S85 is a dud, but I can't have that. I can't recommend this speaker if I know that sometimes they just are no good. Um, I This is so sad because I love Zealot, but I can't, I can't do it. It's got to be a one out of five for me. And I can't, I wouldn't use this speaker. I can't recommend a speaker I wouldn't use, no matter how cool it looks, no matter how much I love the company, no matter all the features that it's supposed to have, no matter if it has a nice accessory bag, it doesn't work. I can't recommend a speaker that doesn't work. Thanks for stopping by.